<laughs> it was Halloween and some trains were loving it. But other trains were petrified. Oh, why is everything so scary? <laughs> I can't wait for it to be over. Unfortunately, Percy had to pass through a creepy tunnel. Oh, I really don't want to go in there. Is, is that a ghost? He didn't stay to find out. <laughs> ah, ah, a ghost! A real ghost! Ah! He steamed away so quickly that he accidentally bumped into Thomas. Oh, sorry Thomas. No problem, Percy. Are you alright? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. That's because I have seen a ghost. Well, don't worry Percy. All of the real ghosts around here are actually very friendly. Well, this one wasn't. Hmm, I'd like to have a look at this ghost for myself. So Percy told Thomas where it was. Percy's right, this tunnel is very creepy. And then... <laughs> ah! That is a scary ghost! But then he heard... <laughs> Thomas knew exactly who the ghost was. Percy! Percy! It's not a real ghost, it's Tom Moss! Oh, I should have known! So they came up with a plan to scare Tom Moss back. <laughs> Boom! Tom was really scared now. They scared Tom Moss. So he ran back to his tunnel. Percy and Thomas had watched the whole thing. Thanks guys for scaring him like that. Oh no problem Percy. Now we can really enjoy the rest of Halloween. Have fun! And they did.
And although Tom was scared, it won't be long before he pulls another prank on the engines. Thomas was chasing Tom Moss. Tom Moss went into the scary tunnel. That's too scary for me to go inside. I know, I'll ask the minions. So Thomas reversed away. Watch this. Ta-da! My turn. Uh, uh, uh. Bah, bah. <laughs> huh? Hey minions, please could you help me explore a scary tunnel? Yeah, sure. And they got onto the trucks. The minions walked into the tunnel, but came out as evil minions. Ah! Whatever's in that tunnel turned those minions evil. I know. I'll ask Chompa for help. And he steamed off. Chompa, can you help me find out what's in this scary tunnel? asked Thomas. Yeah, sure. I'll help you, Thomas. There are two purple minions guarding the tunnel. I'll distract them with these bananas, said Thomas. They're distracted. Lift up the tunnel now, Chomper, shouted Thomas. Chomper lifted up the tunnel, which revealed the two minions with Tom Moss. Tom Moss wasn't turning the minions evil, he was switching them. Nice one, Chomper, said Thomas. But Tom Moss got away again. <laughs> oh no, it's Tom Moss. What's he up to? Meanwhile, the minions were having a party. Everyone had dressed up. Uh -oh. <laughs> Happened to the music? Uh, it was taken. Oh. The party had been ruined. Oh, sorry I'm late, guys. Huh, 
Is everyone alright? The music has been stolen! Can you help us get it back? I can, but not as Thomas. As Batman! Oh, but tonight was my night off! Oh, sorry, I meant Batman Thomas, not you, Batman. Oh, phew! Batman Thomas had a quick look around. <laughs> There's the music! Tom Moss disappeared into a scary pumpkin. Oh dear, do I have to go in there? But he very bravely did. What is this place? I've just got to find the music and get out of here. can't find it. But then he heard something. That's the music! So he followed the sound. Oh no, it's not the music. But then he saw... I've got you now, Tom Moss. <laughs> Thomas was close behind. Tom knew that Thomas was catching up, so... He uncoupled the music. Yes, got it! Now I just have to get out of here. <laughs> he soon found the pumpkin and escaped. Did anybody want some music? Yay! Thanks, Thomas! So the party could continue. But Tom Moss had gotten away again. Uh-oh! It's Tom Moss again. <laughs> What's he up to? <laughs> Meanwhile, it was a special day for Dave the Minion. Happy birthday, Dave! Ah, oh, thanks. So Thomas, Toby and Percy were going to deliver all of the party supplies. Thomas was bringing the presents, Toby was bringing the balloons, and Percy was bringing the bunting and the cake. But all did not go to plan, because they had to pass through this tunnel. 
Thomas went first. He went in and came out with no trucks. He stopped. Hmm, something feels different. But he thought nothing of it and continued with his journey, not realising that his trucks were missing. Toby went through the tunnel next. He lost his trucks too. But he didn't notice either, so he carried on with his journey. And finally, Percy went through the tunnel. And his trucks were taken too. were shocked. Where's our stuff? Oh dear, sorry guys. Where have our trucks gone? Hmm, that tunnel we passed through was a bit strange. I think you're right, Percy. Let's go and investigate that tunnel. Ooh, investigate? Can we come? Can we come? Of course you can. It is your birthday. So the minions hopped in a truck and off they went. When they got there, they heard... <laughs> Thomas! Oh, I knew someone like him must have been behind this. How will we get our trucks back? Hmm, oh, I know. What? He explained his plan. So Percy collected a truck full of fireworks. I hope this plan works. And he headed through the tunnel. Tom Moss took the truck. Yes, he took it. Hehe, <laughs> the plan is working. Oh, here he comes. Tom emerged from the tunnel with all of the trucks. He thought he was getting away. <laughs> but then he heard a noise coming from the fireworks truck. He quickly realised one of the fireworks was lit and was about to go off. So he ran away, leaving the trucks behind. The fireworks did go off. Ooh. Well done guys, your plan worked. So the trains coupled up to their trucks and took the minions back to their party. which was a huge success. And Tom ran back to his tunnel. Until next time. Uh oh, it's Tom Moss. What's he up to? Meanwhile, Thomas was busy working. But he had to pass through a mysterious tunnel. Huh? Hello? Is anybody there? He thought he could see something. Where? What is that? Ah, a dinosaur! <laughs> Got you, Thomas! 
It's not a real dinosaur. <laughs> no, but that one is. Ah! What? No, I just said it's not real. Gah. Huh? Ah! Ah! It is a real dinosaur. Real dinosaur. Ah, no, it's not real. No, not our dinosaur. That dinosaur. What? Ah! <gasps> Run! <laughs> ah! What was that? It was a real dinosaur. But how? Who did that? I don't know. Oh no! It's destroying Sodor. <laughs> Oh no! We need to stop it! Hmm, maybe if we give it a lot of food, it will be too full to move, so we could take it far, far away. Yeah, good idea! Let's do it! So they had a plan. Dinosaur! Dinosaur! Hello! Over here! We have a present for you! Ta-da! Candy! It ate the candy! Yes! The plan's working! But it had a bigger appetite than they were expecting. Uh oh! We're out of candy! It's coming for us! Run! The dinosaur chased them. Oh no! It's still chasing us! But then... The lighthouse turned on. The bright light stunned the dinosaur and it fell in the river. The current took him away. Phew! Will it be alright? Yes, the water isn't very deep here, but who brought a dinosaur to Sodor? Uh, Thomas, look! It's Tom Moss! Get him! They chase Tom. <laughs> but they lost him. Where did he go? Oh, we lost him. At least there weren't any dinosaurs left in Sodor. But Tom Moss got away again. <laughs> Den Dart, I crashed. I really need fixing. Oh dear, look at you. Good job I've got my diesel works trucks with me. What he means is, we've got all the diesel work equipment here with us, so you don't have to go to the diesel works. But please go quickly. Okay, Diesel 10, we'll go as fast as we can. Wait a minute, they've disappeared. What he means is, 
those trucks that were next to us have gone. <laughs> oh no, Tom Moss and the Joker have stolen them. Quick, Dot, go and chase them. I'm on it, Den. Ah, Duck, I need you to deliver five trucks of coal to the Paw Patrol, who are waiting at the clock tower. Yes, sir. Huh? <laughs> Come back! Oh well, better get going, Duck. The trucks may be quite heavy. Meanwhile, Gordon was filling up with coal. Gordon, that's your third lot of coal today. Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> and that's why diesels are better than steamies. Diesel engines don't rely on anything. Nothing of ours can be stolen. Um, okay, not many things can be stolen. Suddenly, Duck showed up. Gordon, you've had a lot of coal today. Well, Duck, important engines like myself need a lot of coal to be really useful. Not that you'll know about being useful. <laughs> Duck was annoyed. What I need are more tenders. Suddenly, Duck had a naughty idea. Well, Gordon, it just so happens I have five tenders which I never use. Well, are they big and grand? Of course they are. If you go to the turntable, my driver will connect them to you. Aha! I'll be the biggest and grandest engine on Sodor. I'll only be given important jobs. No more dirty trucks for me ever again! You don't have five tenders, Duck. I know, but I do have five dirty trucks of coal. <laughs> <laughs> that should teach Gordon a lesson. Soon, Gordon was steaming round the island with his new... Um... Tenders. Out of my way! Important engine coming through. Did you see that then? Gordon's not pulling the express. He's pulling dirty trucks. <laughs> Out of my way, dirty diesels. Well, look at that, Bert. Gordon's now pulling trucks just like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, hello, Chase and Rubble. Have you noticed my new tenders? Now I'm the grandest engine on Sodor. I don't see any tenders, Gordon. All I see are five dirty coal trucks. Wait, what? <laughs> ah, Gordon. Thank you so much for bringing my coal trucks here for me while I did some important jobs. I didn't think you'd show off the dirty trucks to everyone, though. Oh, the indignity. Come back with the diesel work trucks! Uh oh! Oh thank you Gordon for stopping Tom Moss. You've saved the day! <laughs> Hear that duck? Even while doing your dirty job, I still managed to save the day. 
I truly am the grandest engine on Sodor. Two funlings were waiting at a station. Oh, look! What? Ooh, a tunnel! Let's make some echoes! Hello! <laughs> but then they heard... <laughs> huh? It was Tom Moss! <laughs> But the Funlings didn't know who Tom Moss was. They just thought that it was Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Need a wash? <laughs> Tom saw this as the perfect opportunity to pull some pranks. So he pretended to be Thomas and asked the Funlings to do some favours for him. Uh, sure thing, Thomas. Come on, let's go. Here we are. Thomas has asked if we can swap Percy's fruit for... some smelly fish. Oh, it stinks! And Percy didn't notice. I think this fruit's gone bad. It stinks! <laughs> right. Next, Thomas wants us to put this boulder on the track. Okay. Ugh. Phew. But James was just around the corner. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh no! He can't see! <laughs> and because James couldn't see where he was going, disaster struck. Sorry, Diesel. James, what are you doing? The Funlings put this boulder on the track so I couldn't see. <laughs> Phew! And finally, Thomas has asked us to drop these paint cans on himself. Hmm, strange request. Oh, here he comes. Covered in paint. Who did that? We did, Thomas. Why did you do that? Um, because you told us to. Duh. Thomas, someone replaced my fresh fruit with smelly fish. Yeah, that was us too. But why? Um, because Thomas told us to. Funlings, why did you put that boulder on the track? It caused me to crash! Um, because Thomas told us to. What? But I didn't tell you to do any of this. Sure you did. Don't you remember? It was earlier today. Um, in this tunnel, you were covered in moss. The engine suddenly realised what was going on. Funlings, that wasn't me. That was... Tom Moss! <laughs> Someone get him! I'm on it! And James rushed after him. But he got away. Sorry guys! Don't worry James, we'll get him next time! We're really sorry, guys. Don't worry, 
you didn't know. So the Funlings decided to clean Thomas up while he told them all about Tom Moss. There, good as new. Thanks guys. No problem. So Tom Moss had managed to prank everyone. <laughs> Thomas had a very special job to do, so Topham Hat had asked for him specifically. Ah, Thomas, I'm sure you've heard that Zuma here has found some valuable treasure. I'll need you to deliver it to the museum. Thomas was thrilled, so he loaded it onto his truck and off he went. But he had to be careful, because... <laughs> Tom Moss had his eye on the treasure. <laughs> and he'd stop at nothing to get it. <laughs> hmm, what's he going to do with that cargo? Thomas zoomed around the corner, only to see a huge pile of cargo on the track. But Thomas didn't slow down. He charged straight through it. Thomas was getting away. Tom needed a bigger plan. Trucks blocked the track. How will Thomas get past? He went around the trucks. Tom needed an even bigger plan. Oh no, Tom's got a boulder. Watch out, Thomas. The boulder is heading straight for you. You. Tom just couldn't stop Thomas, but he wasn't giving up yet. He's electrocuting the track. Watch out, Thomas! <laughs> but instead of stopping Thomas, the electricity made him lightning quick. And Thomas was heading straight for Tom Moss. Thomas was now chasing Tom. Tom ran back to his tunnel. Thomas would have chased him further, but he had the valuable treasure on him and didn't want to risk losing it. So he took it to the museum. Mama. 
Tom had been defeated. There was a gorilla on the loose. Thomas came face to face with it and steamed away as fast as he could. Percy was at the docks. Cranky loaded Percy up with his usual fresh fish and fresh fruit and he started his return journey to Maithwaite. When Percy went through the woods, the gorilla pounced and took the fruit from Percy's truck. Sir Topham Hat was waiting at Maithwaite. Percy pulled in and Sir Topham Hat went to get his fruit and fish. He wasn't very happy that he only had fish. He sent Percy away to get the fruit. Now earlier that day, James was moving the circus from one side of the island to the other. so proud to be pulling such an important lot of trucks and he put all of his effort into it. But it was thirsty work and he had to stop to take on more water. Unfortunately it was just near a tunnel. <laughs> yes, you guessed it. Well the temptation was just too great for Tom Moss the prank engine. James left full of water, but not with all of his trucks. <laughs> Tom Moss then let the gorilla out of his truck and onto the island. The gorilla loved the freedom and ran around causing trouble for the other engines as we've already seen. <laughs> then, two minions walked past Tom Moss's tunnel. Ooh, Tom Moss. The minions Run. lost their bananas, but jumped onto Tom Moss and got away. Thomas had been watching this and had an idea. Shortly afterwards, James got into position. Thomas steamed along with a truck full of fruit and stopped close to the gorilla. As the gorilla came towards Thomas, Thomas moved a little nearer James and left a trail of fruit into the gorilla's truck. It worked! James pulled away with the gorilla in his truck again. Well done Thomas, that was very clever. 
As for Tom Moss and the Minions, well, it serves them right. Thanks for watching our story. If you liked it, go on, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and then watch another story by clicking any of these pictures. See you soon. Thank you.